It is a dream. The vision focuses on the needs of the Saudi people. Design, architecture. Uh, at the beginning, I would like to thank uh, Cask Architecture uh, for this opportunity to talk about the real estate market and the vision 2030 in Saudi Arabia. Vision is a vision. Before, uh, uh, it is uh, a dream that is achievable, measurable, and uh, can be uh, applied. The vision of Saudi Arabia, it is all about increasing the productivity and uh, opportunities of investment in Saudi Arabia and attracting investors uh, from all over to Saudi Arabia. And uh, as we all know, any project should start with uh, real estate opportunities, starting from the, the land, the locations, uh, construction, infrastructure of the uh, places and locations that will uh, add to the real estate and the uh, economy of the Saudi Arabian uh, market. Of course, uh, most of the vision is talking about entertainment projects and uh, starting with the infrastructure. I would see uh, infrastructure uh, companies uh, will have uh, most of the uh, work uh, and uh, construction companies, uh, of course, uh, design architecture for the beginning starting with the master plans uh, of those uh, projects uh, all over the country before um, writing down the goals for the vision 2030 there was uh, uh, workshops between um, the all government authorities and uh, other experts from abroad and Saudi experts and adding and the private sector in Saudi Arabia. I was part of those uh, uh, workshops. Uh, of course, the vision uh, focuses on the needs of the Saudi people. Uh, the main uh, shortages or need is needed uh, uh, in the country is uh, accommodation, residential projects, and entertainment projects. This is uh, the most needed by the locals, Saudi locals. Uh, of course, um, there is a vision that Saudi Arabia will attract investors and it will attract visitors uh, to the country uh, for those investors uh, to achieve and uh, find uh, profitable uh, uh, opportunities uh, inside the country. Of course, the population is young and it's increasing. The young population, that means more infrastructure is needed, more residential projects uh, are needed. Uh, also, entertainment for the young people is really essential and very important. Uh, we all know that uh, Saudis are the main uh, travelers around the region seeking uh, entertainment or uh, changing or whatever uh, uh, traveling around uh, the region and because of the lack of places and entertainment projects in the country while there is a high potential because of the geography of the country, there are long beaches, uh, mountains, deserts, historic places, uh, uh, so many things to be uh, seen around the country uh, that need the best infrastructure uh, for people to, vo to visit these places. Uh, that's why we have new projects uh, that focus on the entertainment uh, to keep the people and the, I mean the locals and international visitors
to visit those places and explore the Saudi places and potential places like uh, beaches, diving, scuba diving, snorkeling, mountains, hiking, um, um, visiting desert places, uh, uh, off-roading, so many places to be visited uh, inside the country. So, um, so many projects, uh, uh, opportunities are around all this, uh, these areas which are residential accommodation and internet entertainment. Of course, uh, other sectors that will can be supportive to these two main things are really in, in, uh, is, is part of the vision. So um, there are so many opportunities that I can, I can talk about in this uh, area and around it. As we all know, the, geographically, the country is very wide and big varieties of atmospheres and uh, geography, weather, a lot of changes in the same country. Um, we have, in the south, we have mountains, green areas, high mountains, so there is opportunity of uh, climbing, skydiving, and all these uh, rela activities related to that geography and uh, type of area and uh, in summertime it's uh, colder than other places. The stereotype about Saudi Arabia is it's uh, a desert place. When you say Saudi Arabia we think about oil, desert, while uh, there are other things other than desert. Nice beaches, high mountains, historic places, ancient uh, places uh, like historic locations, uh, there is Islamic historic locations, there is Christian historic locations, uh, uh, Jewish historic locations, uh, all histories around uh, religious places, uh, especially the Islamic uh, uh, culture and history. So um, we have so many places that People, uh, uh, visitors uh, can visit all around uh, the area. Saudi Arabia, before it was closed country, so um, it wasn't open for investors, foreign investors, and it wasn't open for visitors other than Muslims visiting the places for Hajj and Umrah. With the new vision of Saudi Arabia, it's it's uh, a different. Uh, there is a different policy, different direction that we have now. It's open now for investors. Uh, before it wasn't. That's why there was uh, no investments in those uh, places. Investments before only uh, restricted for locals, uh, other than the oil sector, of course, because of the know-how. We have so many investments in the, in the oil sector because of the know-how. Now it's open for other sectors, tourism, uh, entertainment, uh, uh, health sector, uh, real estate, uh, housing, uh, so many sectors are open for uh, foreign investors. Uh, that was the obstacle before. Uh, it was, there was no regulations, it was not regulated for foreigners. Uh, unlike today, uh, it will be uh, the regulations are going on and uh, it's, it's now an active country for uh, foreign investors to visit. Uh, at the beginning, of course, uh, a lot of uh, infrastructure design, of course, uh, the financial institutions uh, for studying the feasibilities uh, uh, for these locations, uh, and then the design projects, the design uh, firms uh, to come start uh, next, and then construction, of course, and investors, and the big opportunities will start beginning maybe the next two years uh, until uh, the next decade, inshallah. As Al Saidan real estate company, of course, we, we will be part of uh, this new development and the new vision. Uh, our projects, we were not concentrating on housing projects before, but of course now housing projects, entertainment projects is is, is part of, uh, of our future plan. We have already um, started the planning and uh, we are visiting uh, those uh, new places uh, that where the government is focusing. There is Al-Giddiya project which is uh, west of uh, Riyadh city 
and Neom project, which is northwest of uh, uh, the Saudi Arabia on the Red Sea coast. In Saudi Arabia, the highest population is the middle income, which is uh, the, the requirements is uh, uh, small residential units. The, the only problem here is um, the, the culture in Saudi Arabia is, is completely different than the culture in the West. So um, the most popular required uh, um, housing is uh, uh, detached villas uh, with uh, bigger areas. But with the changes nowadays, uh, I think uh, the demand is, is completely uh, different. So um, there is the uh, the ability is, is uh, sometimes forces people to go towards less requirements. Uh, smaller units, uh, attached villas, uh, sometimes uh, apartments uh, nowadays, especially for the young people. Saudi population is young, so uh, beginning, they're, uh, they're just starting beginning their uh, uh, careers from the beginning, so they don't have high income. Uh, their, required, their requirements depend on their ability, so the, their ability is less than what they require. So small units, uh, small apartments, they will begin like that, but they will always think about bigger uh, spaces. Uh, the culture uh, in, in the country makes it uh, really important to know the culture, to design the best uh, uh, place that suits uh, the, the Saudi market. Building in Saudi Arabia, whether it is uh, compounds or uh, closed communities or open community uh, uh, from uh, foreign companies, the, the, the main concern that they should really focus on is uh, two main things from my point of view, is um, cultural issues that really influence the requirements of the design and the construction. And the second thing is regulations. Sometimes you cannot build uh, using uh, uh, new different uh, materials or you cannot use a new type of construction, for example, because regulations are really different and they are very strict. Sometimes you cannot build, uh, uh, even if it is lower cost or uh, uh, affordable housing that is cost less, because of the uh, uh, building procurement uh, type uh, is different. In the country, I, I think foreign um, architectural and design companies have big opportunity um, to get into the Saudi market, uh, providing that they know uh, the local differences. Uh, as we all know, real estate market is a local market in all countries all over the world. To enter into real estate projects, starting with the design for, from the beginning, it's a local market. You need to know uh, to study the local market first. Uh, uh, especially um, uh, the regulations and uh, the cultural issues, uh, cost issues, um, and you need to know about the local uh, hiring. Uh, of course, we have uh, local engineers and architects that can be hired. Uh, this, this is really important uh, to hire those locals because they can, they can give you, uh, they can give you, uh, open the window for the local uh, market and rules and regulations uh, for, uh, for the foreign company. CAS architecture is uh, being uh, a European uh, firm opening in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia is, is, uh, is really a good thing for the local market here and I hope it's uh, good for CAS as well and uh, any other uh, engineering or architectural firm to be part of the new um, development uh, and the vision uh, of uh, Saudi Arabia. My advice is to use uh, local uh, uh, people uh, here to mix with, uh, 
with the Western uh, know-how. And uh, uh, as I have mentioned before, focusing on the local culture and local regulation is really important for the success of a foreign uh, company, especially when it comes to design. It's really important uh, to know and understand the local uh, regulations and culture. And I hope uh, this is the same for all foreign uh, companies uh, uh, visiting, working, start business in Saudi Arabia.